Hey guys, so you might notice that the quality is a bit different today and um, that's because my iPhone is dead and I have just received my glossy box so I thought that I would just open this out for you guys now um, instead of having to wait for my phone to finish charging. So, let's get in. Okay, so once again, back to the classic pink glossy box and understand um there wasn't a nail varnish sticker on it this time and for the past few months there's been um a sort of customs notice saying um that there's nail varnish in there so i'm hoping that we've got something a bit different this month okay so um glossy box sneak peek alert for next month and it's flash tattoos just in time for festival season June's box is dedicated to getting the summer revelry underway with a chic edit of beauty essentials. Embrace the hedonistic mood with temporary wrist tattoos designed exclusively for glossy box. Inspired by the fashion world, these faux tattoos made a statement on the spring summer runways. They're the perfect accessory whether you're at Glastonbury or a poolside party. So yeah, that's really cool. Uh, some temporary tattoos. Hopefully they're pretty simple because... I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of like the big glitzy gold and silver ones. I like just something simple, something simple and black. Um, and then there's like the editor's letter, which again, I never read. And then we have um, the little card that tells you exactly what's on here, which again, I don't read. But um, at the top, it said summer's calling. So I'm guessing this is like a spring transcending, transcending or transitioning into summer box. So again, pink tissue with the black ribbon, which is exactly what you'd expect. And then on top, what do we have? We have a SAS Intimate Perfect Skin Concentrate. It helps prevent ingrown hairs, reduce hair regrowth and soothe post shave slash wax on your intimate area. <coughs> This is to use on your intimate area um, after waxing or shaving, um, I'm guessing to help soothe it and to help prevent ingrown hairs and all of that jazz. Um, it just says for perfect skin, gently massage two pumps into your clean and dry shaved or waxed area. Um, suitable to use during pregnancy and menstruation, good to know. Um, and yeah, they've got quite a bit of a range. I've never heard of this before. I might actually look into them. So SAS, they do like um, cleansers, gels, mists, serums, and like shaving gels, barrier creams, and it looks like it's all for the undercarriage. Um, but yeah, let's have a look and see what this looks like. It comes in like a really, it's like an embossed box. I don't know if you'll be able to see. There you go. And then it just comes away like that. And then it's got like a little bottle. Like so. With a little pump on top. Um, and I know it's for your like intimate area. But um, I'm going to see what this actually feels like. Second, there you go. So it's like a kind of milky kind of gel consistency. Doesn't it has a slight smell to it, but I'm not sure what the smell is. But I can see why it's soothing. It's kind of like a cool gel, you know, like the kind of gel they apply on your eyebrows after you've gone for a wax. It's that kind of thing, but um. Yeah, so that's good. Um, let's pop that back in. I don't think we've ever had anything like this before, so it's definitely something different. And it's a new brand as well, and that's exactly what Glossy Box is for. So I'm quite happy with that. Next we have an Aloe Vera Moisturising Gel by Etra Bell. Uh, it's smoothing moisturising gel, free of tightening, and re what? Moisturising gel free of fat. In okay, it doesn't make sense, but anyway. The skin elasticity will be improved considerably in the morning and evening. In the case of dry skin, every day as a normal care. 
I'm guessing this is for him because a lot of it doesn't make sense. There's a safety seal, but I'm gonna have a look at what the consistency and what the smell is like. So, so far we've got like two kind of cooling gel formulas and this is exceedingly difficult to open. I hate doing that just in case I get it like ugh, in my mouth. But anyway, um, let's see what this is like. No smell so far. No, not. Again, it just smells like a uh, cream. Um, I can feel that it's quite hydrating, and I can imagine this being really good um, as like an after sun. Um, so yeah, that's definitely good. Maybe that'd be good as like a um, like a handbag thing after you've been to the park or a barbecue and you've been in the sun. Just something that you can apply and um, without having to take a massive bottle with you. Okay, so I've just rewatched like the first segment of what I've just filmed, which is these two, and um, it's very jumpy because I'm filming on my laptop. So I really, really apologise if my voice isn't going in with what I'm doing um, it seems to be if I make too much movement the camera goes funny so I don't know if it's my laptop or if it's just in general so you're gonna just have to excuse the lack of sync in the voice and the movement um, let's move on um, so the third item that I can see is a Zeria Beauty towel off shampoo foam no water required uh, massage foam directly and generously into your hair to release grease and oil while still soapy thoroughly towel dry to remove and style as normal uh, pro tips wash in sections for very thick hair repeat as necessary can be used just on roots um, and it's alcohol free paraben free tri Blossom free and pH balance and it's not tested on animals which is great um, yeah so it looks like it's a form of dry shampoo except it's not dry it's a foam um, but yeah I've never tried a foam one before I've obviously tried the powdered ones like Batiste and before all of that it was the good old um, baby powder in the hair um, and they've kind of evolved from then, so I'm guessing this is the next step on from that. Uh, so I'll give this a go once my hair and my tresses look dishevelled and greasy. Uh, next we have a lipstick, I'm guessing, uh, by collection called Field Day Pink Rose. Um, and it looks like this. And, sorry, I love the smell of lipstick, just in case you didn't realise. It's not my kind of pink, I will say that now. It is extremely light um, and will not suit my skin tone whatsoever. But, um, yeah, it's like a very, very pale pink, which is not that great. But I'm sure that I have someone that looks great in this. Um, it's very kind of moisturising and it's most definitely a summer colour so I can see why it's in there it's just not my jam um, and then the last item in here is a product by me 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 which is enchanted eyes dual ended eye wand midnight storm and it's two eye crayons in two colours so oh wow okay so there's that colour I think there's a lighter one on the other end. Yeah. So again, not kind of the colours I'd go for, but as you will know, I'm kind of experimenting more with eyeshadows and stuff, so I'll definitely be giving this a go. So it's those two there, and it's double-ended. And that is literally everything in there. 